American intelligence emphasized that the Kremlin sees only Donald Trump as its own candidate. On September the 23rd, one of the representatives of the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence stated that the Kremlin created a lot of content using AI to promote its candidate for the post of the head of the White House, Reuters reports. Experts say generative AI learns from past data to take new actions. To do this, it will use content such as text, videos, and photos created by humans. A U.S. intelligence official said that Russia creates such content far more than any other country in the world. The Kremlin already has a good understanding of how the U.S. election system works. One of the latest pieces of evidence for this is the events of July the 9th, 2024. Then the U.S. Department of Justice thwarted the Kremlin's plans to dump pro-Kremlin posts on the Internet through official accounts of individuals and legal entities. Then, a video was supposed to appear on the internet about Harris allegedly running away from the scene of the accident, but one of the passers-by witnessed this and posted the footage on the internet. However, that video was edited by a human, not an AI. Beijing will use the same content, but not to promote its candidate, but to change Americans' opinions about China itself. Iran is using AI to create new resources to feed fake news about world events. It should be noted that Democrats are increasingly worried that pollsters are undercounting Donald Trump's voter support, rating his prospects of winning November's presidential election as much higher than headline opinion polling figures suggest. While most national surveys show consistent though moderate leads for Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, some supporters are unnerved by the small margin of her advantage in three northern battlegrounds, Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin, which are deemed must-wins in her quest for the White House. Although some polls have shown the vice president with leads of between four and six points in Pennsylvania generally judged the most important swing state, Others show Trump trailing by smaller deficits. Narrower gaps separate the two in Michigan and Wisconsin, where Harris's lead is just 1 or 2 percent, according to several different recent polls. Underpinning Democrats' fears is the knowledge that Trump greatly outperformed predictions in all three states in 2016 when he narrowly won them en route to his election triumph over Hillary Clinton and in 2020 when he was pipped by Joe Biden by far smaller margins than forecast. Мины, слышь, СПГшные, блядь. Что? СПГшных опять до хуищи, прям запакованных нам. Снимаешь? Да. Причем тут эти есть, знаешь, вот эти осколочные такие, блядь, по толстые вот эти вот, блядь. Under extraordinarily tight security, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday visited the Pennsylvania ammunition factory that is producing one of the most critically needed munitions for his country's fight to fend off Russian ground forces. His visit to the Scranton Army ammunition plant kicked off a busy week in the United States to shore up support for Ukraine in the war. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. As Zelensky's large motorcade made its way to the ammunition plant on Sunday afternoon, a small contingent of supporters waving Ukrainian flags assembled nearby to show their appreciation for his visit. 
The area around the ammunition plant had been sealed off since the morning, with municipal garbage trucks positioned across several roadblocks and a very heavy presence of city, regional, and state police, including troopers on horseback. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155 millimeter artillery shells. Zelensky was expected meet and thank workers who have increased production of the rounds over the past year. The 155 millimeter shells are used in howitzer systems, which are towed large guns with long barrels that can fire at various angles. Howitzers can strike targets up to 15 miles to 20 miles away and are highly valued by ground forces to take out enemy targets from a protected distance.